Why waste time taking meeting notes when you can have a note taker do it all for you? In today's video, I'll be introducing you to Otter AI and Blue Dot, two tools which amongst their other features you can use to have your meeting notes automatically taken for you, get summaries produced, and most importantly, save you valuable time. We'll be looking at the free features of each tool before then jumping into a more in-depth look at the transcription and insights offered. So let's jump straight in with Otter. You'll see on the screen that Otter can join your Teams, Zoom, or Google Meet meetings. But it is worth noting at this stage that Otter will only record your audio and not your video. And your meeting with Otter will be recorded, transcribed, and summarized in real time. To join a meeting with Otter, you can either connect your calendar so that Otter automatically joins all of your meetings, or you can start an ad hoc meeting and copy over the meeting link into this top right-hand corner box back in Otter. Then hit record and Otter will join the meeting. And once it starts, you'll see that you'll get a free 30 minutes of recording time. And once the meeting's ended, just go back into Otter and you'll see the transcription there waiting for you. Do just make sure to stop your meeting in Otter though, because otherwise, once you go back into Otter, it will keep recording even if your meeting's ended. And remember, we said that Otter doesn't record your video, so when you go back into Otter once your meeting's ended, don't expect to see a video there, just the audio. With Otter, you can also upload a pre recorded meeting for transcription. You just have to click on this import button in the top right hand corner of the screen. And the final feature to note with Otter is that there's also a mobile app, which means that with Otter, you can record your in-person as well as your online meetings. So to recap, on its free plan, Otter transcribes for 30 minutes of your meeting. And on the free version, you get up to 300 monthly meeting minutes included. You can record a Teams, Google Meet, or Zoom meeting with Otter, but it will only be your audio and not your video that's recorded. Thanks to the mobile app, however, you can record your in-person as well as your online meetings with Otter. And for those online meetings, you can either get Otter to automatically join all of your meetings, or you you can manually add it to an ad hoc meeting. And finally, Otter also allows you to import pre-recorded files for transcription, as well as recording your new meetings. So how does Blue Dot compare? Well, firstly, with Blue Dot, you get five free meetings per lifetime on the free version, but each of these meetings can be up to one hour long. Although it's designed primarily for Google Meet, Blue Dot does also support the web version of Microsoft Teams and it has Zoom integration. But connecting Blue Dot to your meeting is slightly different how we did it with Otter. You first just have to download a Chrome extension. Then once your meeting begins, just click on the Chrome extension in the top right-hand corner of the screen, choose the style of notes that you want Blue Dot to capture for you, select your microphone, and then then click start capture and blue dot will then record both your video and your audio for you and the one thing during the meeting which really sets blue dot apart from its competitors is that it doesn't use a bot to capture any information instead everything happens in the background which means there's no physical bot in the meeting for you or your other meeting attendees to see once your meetings ended both your video and your audio will appear in a new window almost instantly and it's worth noting that imports aren't available on the free version of blue dot but they are when you get to the pro business or enterprise plan so on its free version Blue Dot is designed for recording those online meetings. And to recap those features of Blue Dot again, you can record five meetings for free with Blue Dot, and these meetings can be up to one hour long each. Blue Dot is primarily designed for Google Meet, but you can also use it with Zoom and with Teams. To connect Blue Dot to one of your live online meetings, you just have to download the Chrome extension and then click on it at the start of your meeting. And remember that once Blue Dot starts capturing your meeting, there'll be nothing to see because everything happens in the background. Unlike Otter, you can't import files on the free version of Blue Dot, but both your audio and your screen will be recorded. And finally, once the meeting ends, the recording and the transcription will appear in a new screen almost instantly for you. So moving on to the insights and the transcription, and let's start with Otter. When you return back to Otter, you'll see a summary and a transcription on the left-hand side of the screen. As you can see, Otter does offer action items as part of its summary before then moving into an outline of the meeting. On the right-hand side, there's then an AI chat, and having this chat feature means you can get quite comprehensive answers about your meeting without having to go back through the recording or even go through the summary. And what about Blue Dot? When your meeting ends and your Blue Dot transcription appears in a new window, you'll see this setup of your video on the left-hand side of the screen with an overview underneath, and then a transcript, insights, and an AI chat on the right-hand side of the screen. You'll see there are insight features like being able to see who spoke the most during a meeting, as well as then also having an AI chat. Thanks to the AI chat, you can get instant answers from Blue Dot about your meeting. Like, for example, how many questions were asked? And within the summary, you'll see an overview of the meeting split into key sections. 
So to finish up, which is best? The answer to this will of course be dependent on you and the needs of your own business. So do go away and trial each tool using the features we've discussed in this video to get a full understanding of them and to help you decide which one is best for you. And if they don't quite do what you want them to, then make sure to also check out the paid versions. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to give it a like and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any similar comparisons in the future.